We are here with Leo Burnett, Managing Partner of Truth and Deception Technologies, an expert witness in voice stress analysis, to talk about the Truth and Deception Technologies, Deceptrek Voice Stress Analysis System. How did Truth and Deception Technologies, Deceptrek Software, evolve? In 1972, the PSE, Psychological Stress Evaluator, went on the market. Uh, the three co-inventors uh, formed a company and, and, and uh, began marketing the system. One of those was Colonel McQuiston. Uh, Colonel McQuiston went ahead then in the, in the uh, late 70s and developed the Barometrics. Uh, that was the first computerized system. and. He used that as, as the uh, medium until 1995 when he passed away and uh, Colonel, a retired Colonel uh, Ames bought the company and developed the software to the laptop system. Um, in, in 1999 that was then uh, uh, upgraded, the software was all rewritten, and um, it's much the same as it is today, although there have been some improvements made. That was called the Lantern System uh, with Colonel Ames, and then um, when he passed on in uh, 2008, uh, the two partners, uh, Michael Silvestri and myself, uh, bought the company and we changed the name to Truth and Deception Technologies, LLC, uh, and that's where it is today. What organizations currently utilize the Deceptec voice stress analysis software? Uh, both foreign and domestic governments. Um, we have uh, private investigators using it, uh, police departments. Um, and, and again, those are both domestic and uh, international. The um, uh, many, many others, uh, too many to, to even recall, uh, including insurance companies. Does the Deceptech voice stress analysis software use standardized protocols? Yes, it does, and uh, the, the protocols were developed by the International Society of Stress Analysts over the years, and uh, they are much the same as polygraph uh, uh, with a few changes in it, uh, and they include uh, uh, outside issues, uh, complex reactors, uh, of which are present in our society and many others. Uh, both relevant and irrelevant questions uh, are also used. Does the Deceptec voice stress analysis software have wires attached to the subject? No, the uh, subject is tested uh, sitting comfortably in a chair uh, next to the examiner and uh, he has no, no wires attachments of any kind. How does the Deceptec voice stress analysis software operate? Uh, it operates on the um, uh, reading of the lower uh, frequencies in the voice uh, between 8 and 14 hertz. Uh, these are the frequencies, they're sub-audible, that our software can pick up and, and uh, also along with the other frequencies. But when the low frequencies come into play, that's when an individual is under stress. Uh, they go in, under stress is caused, um, it's uh, actually the uh, physiological reactions to psychological stimuli, uh, such as stealing or killing or, or whatever. Um, and then those show up in the lower frequencies, which are very much different than the higher frequencies, and the, an the analyst then reads those and uh, makes his decision on this call whether the person is truthful or, or untruthful. 
What is the difference between polygraph and voice stress analysis? Polygraph has uh, many attachments. Uh, everything that they read, they are also the same as the voice deal. Uh, they're all uh, physiological reactions to psychological stimuli. Uh, they use uh, heart rate, they use uh, belly breathing and, and chest breathing, the in and outs, uh, the blood pressure and so on. All these are attached to the instrument while the person is, has to sit very still in the chair, cannot make any movements and uh, not tighten muscles or anything else which can disrupt the test, none of which bothers the voice stress system. What is the difference between the standard VSA systems and the automated VSA systems? There are uh, at least one company, I, I think there's a couple of them actually out there now that are uh, claiming to do automated voice stress. Um, the automated voice stress is uh, basically a computer looking at their charts and trying to make a call from it. Uh, it's not, not in my estimation accurate at all. Why hasn't truth and deception technologies developed an automated system? We've worked on this for several years and much money and uh, testing of, of uh, hundreds of tests and uh, hundreds and hundreds of samples of voices from original tests entered into them and uh, it, it was, uh, we were not able to uh, come to the conclusion that it was useful at all and we were unable to use it. With the SEPTEC software, can you do analysis from recorded media? such as from interviews or speeches? Uh, yes, if, if the medium, uh, you know, the recording is of good quality or even decent quality, we can do that. Uh, our software, uh, we, we can pick out uh, noisy uh, items in some of the recordings, uh, such as um, white noise and so forth. So uh, we, can, we can rule those that we can make examinations, we can look at it in test them. Uh, they do miss uh, uh, one of the elements that is needed in a protocol test. However, uh, if you look at enough of that, we can, we can make determinations whether the subject was, was being truthful or dishonest in these recordings. Uh, we've, we've looked at recordings uh, going back into the 20s that we've been able to analyze. All right, well, thank you for your time. And everyone, thank you for watching our informational video on the Deceptec voice stress analysis software. If you have any additional information that you need, please visit our website. And thank you.